Me now from Capitol Hill, we have Congressman Matt Cartwright, a Democrat from Pennsylvania, who was inside that hearing. Congressman, thanks for being with me. My pleasure, Crystal. How are you? Very good today. So we know that Dr. Craig Spencer was around NYC quite a bit the day before he exhibited symptoms. Do you think healthcare workers and also troops returning from West Africa, like Dr. Spencer, should they be quarantined? Well, you know, that was a big part of the discussion in the oversight committee hearing this morning. Uh, what are the terms of the quarantine? You know, what are the waiting periods? You know, we had uh, Assistant Secretary of Defense uh, Michael Lumpkin there today. We had uh, Marine Major General James LaRiviere. Uh, and we were giving them fairly pointed questions about what are the pr proper waiting periods. Shouldn't we do a 21-day 20 waiting period uh, in country before people are brought back to the United States? Um, and really, the answer we got was that they defer to the Centers for Disease Control on that. Uh, and I asked them both specifically to check back in with the CDC and see if whether, uh, in an, ab an abundance of caution, we might want to move from a 10-day waiting period to a 21-day waiting period uh, before bringing people back to the United States. Because, uh, yeah, even uh, when, uh, when, uh, when doctors get it, when nurses, by the way, uh, thank God, during the hearing, uh, we heard that uh, nurse uh, Nina Pham was cleared of Ebola yes, uh, so right up here at the NIH in Maryland. Great piece of news there. But Congressman, yeah. you know, on that point about, about whether or not there should be a quarantine of 21 days for returning doctors in particular, also troops who would be returning, isn't the number one priority to fight the epidemic in West Africa? That is where the greatest amount of risk comes from. And if we're going to require these doctors to be quarantined 20 days, 21 days after they come back, isn't that going to make it more difficult for us to fight Ebola where the, where the problems are the greatest? I, I think maybe marginally it'll make it less attractive for doctors to want to go to West Africa, but I think they get it, and anybody who's willing to make the sacrifice to travel to West Africa uh, and deal with some of these deplorable conditions and these heartbreaking, heart-wrenching family situations that you have there, anybody who's willing to make that kind of a, a sacrifice, I think they'll put up with another 11 days in, in quarantine. But really, I don't know the answer, Crystal, and that's why I asked to, to check in with the CDC and ask them whether it doesn't make sense uh, to add another 11-day waiting period before we bring people back to the United States. All right, Congressman, let's turn to health care workers who are on the front lines here in this country. I know the head of the National Nurses United Union of Nurses testified today. Do you think that enough is being done right now to protect health care workers here in the U.S.? Well, uh, they were all there in force, uh, members of the National Nurses Union. And uh, in fact, they had little stickers that said, uh, I am Nina Fan," And, and uh, I am Nina Fan," And, and uh, it was uh, only fitting that they were all there wearing those stickers, all there wearing those. We heard that uh, Nurse Pham was, was cleared of Ebola. Uh, you're absolutely right, Crystal. We have to do everything we can think of to protect uh, our nurses, our physicians, our healthcare technicians, uh, these are the people that uh, are going to are going to lick this problem uh, and if, if we're if we're going to put them at the front lines of this fight, uh, we have to back them up with all of the support we can come up with. Congressman, we spoke with Councilman Mark Levine earlier on this show. He represents the, the district where Dr. Spencer lives. He was concerned that his constituents had a lot of bad information and were more concerned about this threat than they should be. Are you seeing the same thing with your constituents? Well, everybody's worried. It's a scary, scary thing. I mean, we've heard uh, we heard statistics uh, this morning that, you know, by January, if if uh, if we don't get after this Ebola thing in West West Africa, there could be upwards of a million people infected uh, in that part of the world. So yeah, it's we got to fight it thing. there in West Africa, where the problems are the worst. Congressman Matt Cartwright, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Crystal. And